Okay, thank you, QQ. So now I'm going to share my screen. So can you see my screen now? Yes. Yeah, we okay. can see it then. Okay, good. <laughs> so before, uh, before uh, please uh, let me uh, give a briefly introduction for Pantech and our products. So actually we uh, were founded in 2009 and uh, strategically entered the energy storage market in 2013 when it was a relatively unknown field. The same year we delivered the first battery storage system. So as an early participant, we are glad and proud to witness the robust growth of the industry. We have delivered over 1 million energy storage system globally and appreciate the trust our clients have placed in us over the years. But what's more exciting is seeing how our systems empower people with energy freedom while driving low carbon development worldwide during the green energy transition. And in 2020, we have successfully listed on the China's market, stock market. And according to the report from IHS, we were top two residential supplier globally in 2021. And last year, 2022, we have been ranked top one for the residential battery energy storage system supplier globally. For this year, we do a lot of things to promote our brands and our products, especially in the US. We have set our first overseas factory in Italy to better support our customers and uh, the distributors. And we are also registering registering our uh, the US company and hope uh, and everything can be finished before the SPI exhibition. And we were also listed in Solar Insure. That means if you buy pilot tech batteries, you can get over 20 years warranty. And we can also like for the installers in North America, they can get the credit by joining the pilot tech training lessons. And we are also the member of the SEER. So Pine Tech, the headquarter of Pine Tech is in Shanghai. The RD team, the sales and the marketing team also in Shanghai office. And we have three factories uh, to manufacture the sales battery modules uh, near Shanghai. And uh, for now we have 8.5 gigawatt hour for the production capacity. And we also have a new, uh, new factory in Anhui and the capacity is going to be 10 gigawatt hours. So 5 gigawatt hour, the extra 5 gigawatt hour is going to be ready in this year and another 5 in next year. So I, I mean, two years later, we're going to have like uh, 19 or 18 gigawatt hour for the total capacity. And we have already shipped our batteries and systems to over 80 countries globally. I want to say one of the biggest advantages for Pine Tech is that we have our vertical integration chain from the sales to the VMAs and to the battery module. So we dedicate it on energy storage with a continuous development with 10 years experience. And we can have a continuously supply chain support to make sure that we can always provide our batteries for the distributor or for the customers uh, with a very paid with very good lead time. So uh, as our we are focused on the global market, so our products have already gained the different certifications for different countries and the regions. We have the TUV uh, uh, certification, the UR certification for the North America, the CC listing, and the JET certification, which is very difficult to get uh, for the Japanese. Japan market, and also the VD from the Germany market. So uh, as our batteries have already been used um, for over 10 years, uh, because we, we, served, we shipped our first system 10 years ago, from the experience, 
our batteries can already support like over 8,000 cycles. So which can provide a better benefit for the customers. I think one uh, the most important uh, key point for the batteries uh, is for the uh, is the state stability and the degradation that the batteries have. So uh, you know this is a case for the by the ITP from Australia. It's a sort of party independent institute. The test uh, was funded actually by the Australian government and it lasts for seven years. That means the test uh, lasts for seven years and they bought the batteries from the market like Pilantec, LG, BYD and Tesla and the doing the test. So from the test, you can see for Pilantec batteries, they have a it has the base degradation performance, you know, after 2,000 or even 2,500 cycles using Pilantech batteries have the base, uh, the uh, SOH that means the status of health. So the degradation for the batteries is better than other batteries, which means you can use our batteries for a longer time. It's just like you have the batteries in your cell phone and then you can find that the the capacity of the batteries is uh, decreasing every year. So if your batteries have a very good performance, that means you can use your cell phone for a longer time, right? It's the same for, the ba for our batteries. And another thing is about the stability. Uh, it's another key point for the for the batteries, especially for some of grid system because the uh, the site is far away from the installers. So if the system has got a problem, uh, you may need to drive for several hours to customers home and to check what the system, uh, what the issue is. So from this, uh, from this you can see for Pilantech batteries over the past several years testing it's the only battery brand that has no uh, issue happen i mean the the pilot type batteries work very stable very very stable you can also find this uh, test in the itp uh, official website and our batteries use a stable uh, use a standard uh, communication protocol the CAN communication protocol and the IS-45. And over the past 10 years, Pilantech batteries are already compatible with the most tier Taiwan, tier one or tier two inverter brands. You can also scan this, uh, the code to check the full compatible list. You see the portfolio for our batteries. So as we are the sales manufacturer, so we have the wall, have a wide range of products from 12 volts to 48 volts. So 12 volts uh, batteries using for the um, using for the RV, the boat, and uh, 24 volt batteries, 48 volt batteries, which are the most popular uh, products for the residential now. And we also have the batteries, 48 volts for the telecom batteries. These are modular design batteries. They are standard 90 inch. Uh, design and we also have the high voltage systems from 400 volts to 1000 volts or even 1500 volts for the for the stack board design the rack design and the auto cabinet with the, the with everything inside like pcs ems hv egg fire suppression system so it's all in one system and also for the big commercial and industrial projects or the utility projects, we can provide the turnkey uh, solution like container systems with batteries, with the PCAs, and also the EMS if the customer requires. So for this presentation, we want to highlight our four H1 batteries. Uh, you can see this one is uh, it's, it was consist. It's consists of battery BMS and battery modules. On the top of the stack 
is our BMS controller and then it's battery modules. And for this product, we already have the UL9540A certification. Here are some uh, parameters and uh, the features of, of our 4 h one Support 95 depths of discharge and 10 years standard warranty. And it have a very high IP rating, IP55. So with a good appearance, you can install it indoor or outdoor. So each battery module is very, uh, is like 3.55 kilowatt hours. It's 48 volts, 74 MB hours. And the module size is like this. Uh, each battery, each module weight is 36 kilograms. So I think for one installer, it uh, he can install the whole system because the weight is not that big. So for one stack, we can ex uh, install maximum seven modules. So the whole system can be like this one, uh, around 24 kilowatt hour for one, uh, one tower. And also we can like uh, have different uh, modules in the, in the same stack from three modules to seven modules. So based on that, you can have a different voltage range and different capacity for the for the system. So it's very flexible. And also between the battery modules and the between modules and the BMS controller, you don't need any cables connection. You just actually just need to connect the cables from uh, from BMS controller to the inverter, just power cables and the com communication cables. So it's very friendly for installing. Uh, this is a, actually the system structure for the BMS controller. Uh, here are the configuration for the 4SH1. So uh, I think there are two uh, angles to decide how many battery modules you need for the, for the system. So one is for the voltage, another one is for the capacity. So as we know, every inverter, they got a different uh, DC voltage range. So you need to make sure the battery's voltage, the minimum battery voltage and the maximum battery voltage should be in the uh, range or the, uh, from the inverter DC side. Another thing is about the capacity. So the system capacity, you can uh, you can like uh, configure different uh, battery modules de to determine how big the system is and how many hours uh, you want for this system. So we want to promote uh, this kind of couple like Pilot Take Force H1 plus Solid S6. And as we mentioned, Pilot Take batteries have already got the Force H1 already got for uh, UL9540A. And for the couple, Pilot Take Force H1 plus Solid S6, we already get the UL9540 certification. So for this table is a recommend, recommend configuration using Pilot Take batteries and Solid S6. So for the 7.6 kilowatt S6 inverter, we recommend one BMS controller plus four battery modules so you can have like 14 kilowatt hours. So basically this around like two hours system, half C rating, but this is just the minimum battery modules we recommend. You can also like expand the battery modules or expand uh, the capacity for the system just according to the specific requirement. Uh, here we want to uh, check the installing part for the force H1 just to show you how to install it. So when you receive the package, the battery module package, you can check there is one battery module inside. And for the BMS controller package, you can find these things. So this way in the BMS controller, and you can also find a, a metal bracket and a base, which is installing on the bottom. And also the power cables, the communication cables, 
and of course the OS cable. And for the installation, you need to uh, care the low location and environment, avoid the direct sunshine or the direct rain or snow, just just prevent they uh, like directly uh, to the to the batteries and also the temperature. Uh, we recommend that you install the batteries on, on the base. So there is a, like a 300 millimeters H, but this is not very, uh, it's not very necessary. We, we mentioned this because we just want to avoid the water flooded to batteries just in case. So if uh, you can probably, uh, you can guarantee that then you, you, you don't need this base. So you can see we install the base first, and then we just put the battery modules on the base. So no cables needed here. You just like install the base and just put the battery modules one by one for your system. And after you install all battery modules, install the base, battery modules, and the BMS controller, you need to install the bracket to fix it like this on the side of all the battery modules and then lock the BMS with the screws. For this for the grounding cables connection. And these are the pan panels for the BMS controller. So we just need to connect the power cables uh, to the emoter and the comms cables. This is the a panel for the BMS controller. So you can check the system status capacity and the battery module status here. Uh, if you want to power on it, this is the process of how to power it. Just press the on button and the BMS needs 30 seconds for self-checking. Just check the communication between BMS controller and the inverter. So if everything is, is okay, uh, if the BMS controller set uh, the communication with the inverter successfully, then the self-checking is finished and the battery can have the output power. Uh, if you want power off it, you just turn off the inverter or the power prior on the DC side, then turn off the switch between PCS and the battery system. In the last step, turn off the power switch of the BMS, the red button. This is the connection diagram for the Solis S6 plus four CH1 batteries. So for the hybrid inverters, for the DC side, you need to connect the PV panels, right? And then you connect to the batteries like of our four CH1 for the power cables. And of course, you also need to connect the communication cables between hybrid inverter S6 and our BMS controller. So they use the cam communication, so you can just connect to them according to the manual. And for the hybrid inverter output, normally they have two outputs. One is for the backup, which connect to some critical load that you need to make sure uh, these load are always power on. And another is for the grid side, you can just connect to some normal load. And normally you, they can also have a meter for the output to do some functions like uh, zero export zero export uh, or call it reverse uh, connection uh, to provide the reverse connection it's very important here and also we uh, the force h1 can support like a uh, parallel connection for different uh, stacks so one stack we say that we can like install maximum seven modules if that's still not enough, you can add another tower. You can add another tower batteries. So we can support a maximum six towers for the system. And uh, and uh, we connect them to the inverter through a combined box. So you, you're gonna have a DC combined box between the both H1 batteries and the inverters. But if you just have one stack, then you don't need this device. If you have more than one, or if the current is huge, then you're gonna have this. So this is the combined box. We can our we can also provide this combined box to have two models. 
So HV3 dash three means it can support the three uh, strings, and HV dash six that means it can support maximum six strings for the batteries. So you can see they have a fuse on each each circuit, and for the whole combined box, they have a it have a big DC breaker. So that means you can have a a stable a breaker connection and disconnect connection between batteries and the, the inverter. So after you finish all cables connection, you check the cable connections, then you go to Solaris Invert app, select the correct models of the battery. For example, you can choose pylon take here, pylon batteries here, and then finish the configuration for the internet, something like that. After that, you can check all the information, especially for the batteries information here for through the through the application. Okay, and I think this is our all for the pioneering presentation. And thank you for your attending. And uh, you can also meet us at this I plus uh, uh, exhibition. So I think the nearest one is this one in the Philadelphia. So it's in July 26th and 27th, QQ and me, we also attend that exhibition. So we hope if you have time, please uh, come to our booth and we hope we can have a uh, face-to-face -face talking. If you have any questions, we are glad to give you answers. So thank you for your time. Thank you. Hey, thanks, Pat. Uh, this is Terrence Parker from Solus. Uh, I, I learn something every time you present, Pat. That's, uh, it's really, uh, <laughs> I mean, you, everybody here, you can really tell why we are, uh, we, we really are working with Pylon Tech around the world. We have uh, 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 relationships with them in many countries around the world, and we really trust their brand. Um, and so, you know, for us, we're, we're a reliable product. And so we like to have a reliable partner and a reliable uh, engineering and R&D. And you can, in this company, Pylon Tech, you know, they have a lot of patents. They have, a, they do, uh, they're a, a true manufacturer, a tier one manufacturer, really. And you can see they're rated number one. We just love their product. And uh well, our new our new hybrid inverter, as you saw in many of those diagrams that Pat showed, um, you know they 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 work very well with uh, the Pylon Tech product here, uh, and we're very excited about introducing the two of them together to the U.S. Uh, market. Um, of course, Solus has been around a while as well, just like Pylon Tech. We started in two thousand five, and uh, uh, we uh, we went public actually in two thousand nineteen. And uh, I guess the big news for us lately has been our uh, expansion of our manufacturing capacity as our business grows. And we're at about 40 gigawatts today, actually about closer to 50, and we're expanding to 80 gigawatts as we, uh, by the end of the year. Uh, everybody, uh, everybody can hear me okay? And uh, you can see the screen all right? Everybody's all right with that? Uh, yes. Yes. Yes, good. Pretty yes. good. Yes. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, thanks for the feedback. Yeah, I always like to <laughs> hear a little bit from the crowd. And uh, thanks for the emoji uh, kind of uh, indicator that, that's kind of fun to see. Um, so lately, we just opened up a Vietnam factory. Uh, this uh, We just opened it up in June. And uh, we're, we own all of that. We, we are, the, uh, you know, the owners of the land, the buildings, the equipment. And this is not just uh, uh, an assembly area, uh, assembly shop in Vietnam. This is a full manufacturing with a full board fab and everything else. So uh, that's kind of the newest and uh, 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 history as, as, as we expand the company. Um, you should know that we are uh, the number three uh, supplier uh, globally uh, in terms of mar shipments, uh, both in 21 and in 22. Uh, uh, we, we've had a strong uh, couple of years uh, after after the COVID and, uh, and, and we're continuing to grow. Uh, it's a company you can count on uh, to uh, have a complete uh, manufacturing base. Uh, we're expanding this now, uh, as I note, up to 80 gigawatts. Uh, this is a kind of a new picture of our newest factory. 
um, my sales partner, Natasha, she's heading over there right now again to uh, take a look and talk with our team over there. We're very close with them. And that should, you should, we are very close actually to the Pylon Tech uh, uh, manufacturing facilities as well. We're all around that uh, uh, Shanghai Ningbo Bay area. A lot of our suppliers are there. Uh, and so that helps us uh, maintain a good uh, uh, supply chain. It's, it's one of the things I've experienced since I joined the company in 2016 is a good uh, supply of product and uh, uh, steady uh, R&D and new feature growth as we go forward. PB string inverters have just gotten so much more interesting over the past few years with new technologies. Um, and new uh, partnerships with uh, not only batteries, but also module level power electronics and different kinds of uh, pl uh, monitoring platforms. It's gotten so interesting as we get into a new world of interoperability where uh, battery sets and inverter battery combat uh, systems are supplying uh, power and stability to the utility grid. Here's just a little snapshot of, uh, uh, we got a bunch of pictures of this place. I'm looking forward to visiting. It's, uh, uh, like I say, we just opened it up and uh, we can probably, if you'd like, we can uh, schedule a tour starting this coming September. Um, we are gonna start with the S6 hybrid. That's really gonna be, this, I'm gonna focus a little bit on that during this presentation. And, uh, and well, that's the first product we're gonna be manufacturing out of there. And, and then uh, after that, we'll go into our, uh, our, our CNI line company continues to expand. This is uh, part of our manufacturing facility here. We're over 4,000 global employees. And you can see the 10% of us are, are engineers and on the R&D team. It's very uh, important to us is to remain an, uh, a technology leader in PV string inverters. Uh, like I say, we're ranked three now and, and we want to continue that growth. So um, it's a global uh, it's a global company that has a very strong presence in the US. Like I say, we, we were the first PV string inverter to get the UL certification here, uh, first Chinese uh, PV string inverter to get the uh, UL certification back in 20, uh, not, 2009. And we never left. We just stayed. We continued to grow the business. We white labeled a lot with other, with partners, Sunrun, CSI, and others. And uh, we continue to do that today, but we just continue to build out the team. And you can see we have a little bit of fun with it too. We all like to wear orange shoes at our, at our, uh, at our, uh, you know, trade shows and things like that. It, it's kind of fun and, and truthfully, it's very comfortable. <laughs> um, so we have a general manager, we have a program managers, we have both inside and outside salespeople here in the US. And, and so, uh, uh, you know, you really have an opportunity to not only talk with our sales guys, but also our inside sales team who can really give you a good idea where product is and where it's being distributed. Um, we have a strong product management team. I'm part of that. And I do application engineering and a lot of our compliance work, along with other team members here at Solus. And we're spread across the country. We have uh, quality management to ensure that not only that, well, let's just say that all of the experiences we have here here in the US are, are transferred into our global operation so everyone can learn. We have our own marketing group here as well. And I think most pro, uh, what we're most proud of really is our service group. You know, I was the service group back in 2016 along with my friend Bernie. And uh, since then we have really grown and built that team up so that we have three levels. You're gonna get a warm body on the phone when you call. When you get to our level one guys who are all installers in, in the old days, they can really normally, we only have 28 error codes, right? So they can normally figure out what your what the issue is in, a, in five minutes. And that's the typical length of these calls. We have a CRM system that we use to track every one of our, these calls and every one of your tickets. And so you too can track what's going on with your ticket and what's going on with your uh, uh, issue as we try to figure out what's going on. Uh, as far as portfolio goes, we go really from very small, uh, which Solus is kind of famous for actually. We, we just came out with a new, what we call a balcony inverter, 700 watts. It's in Europe right now, right? But uh, we do, uh, we're kind of famous for our smaller inverters. And indeed we have a very tight uh, 3.6 uh, 3 to 10K 
line of inverters it's been really our bread and butter true true reliable just works every day kind of performer and indeed uh really the upgrade there was just to support the new big modules with 10 12 amps coming out of them you really needed to kind of up your game on the dc inputs and that's what we did there but but basically we have a very similar mo uh, uh, platform uh, uh across all these inverters but we really are uh, uh kind of proud of the reliability uh, record we have with the small grid tie inverters but it's a new day really with new batteries with new uh, electric vehicles kind of making it popular over the last five ten years you know we're really seeing a trend towards storage in the home residential and in commercial and because we're seeing some more trust in what we're seeing in the battery world and and truthfully pilot tech is part of that is part of the reason why we are going forward with such confidence with our new residential inverters and then our new commercial rooftop inverters as well um, with pylon tech we're going to go a little bit deeper with this residential hybrid but it's really kind of a very uh, versatile product you can you can use it off grid yeah you can uh, use it, of course, you can use it just as a grid tie product, just like our residential grid tie. You, you don't need batteries at all, really. And if you just wanted to use it as an AC coupled battery solution with a pylon tech stack or a couple of stacks, you could just use it as that, no PV at all, and just use it as a, a, a way to connect to the grid and to, uh, uh, you know, provide power during time of use and, and, and emergencies, these sorts of things. So such versatility with uh, new, these new hybrid platforms. In commercial rooftop, we're offering these grid type products where we range from 25 to 100 kilowatt and uh, with the wide operating ranges and very forgiving MPPTs that we have, uh, we're even seeing these used in a lower voltage arrays like these 600 volt repowering solutions or, or of course new 1000 volt repowering solutions where folks just trust a reliable product to get back to get those modules working again. All these products, all the way up to utility scale, are all um, uh, SB certified, so they can be installed anywhere across the country. Uh, the hybrid. We're very excited about it. It's, as I note, it's really just a grid tie inverter that's battery ready. And, uh, and it has native 12240 split phase. That's an improvement over our last uh, product that you needed a separate piece. Well, this one has, you know, it's just literally uh, 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 the line one, line two neutral and ground over to your breaker box for a tie into the grid. And then should you want to put a, a backup panel for a partial home solution, you can do that tied to the backup panels, backup, uh, and you'll get that pylon tech power within 10 milliseconds. You won't know the power went out to whatever loads are in that, uh, been moved over to that partial home critical loads box. Just like Pilot Tech, we also have got new patents, new technology in our inverters. And part of that is the surge capabilities of transformerless inverters like this. I come from a, a long history of inverters with a big iron core in them and decent surge capabilities. That was one of their uh, best features and it, it kind of left PV string behind, but lately we've been really getting better tech in the PV string uh, uh, capabilities here. And you can see that we can, we can, even though we're getting 47.5 continuous out of the single inverter for let's say one or two stacks of pylon tech, you know, if you put two inverters in, you can now put a couple of stacks and get um, 95 uh, amps of continuous power. But look, you can also get uh, 70, you know, 152 amps surge. I mean, it's just really an amazing capability now of these inverters to really handle a larger, you know, startups of uh, invert of big air conditioning units. And indeed, if you wanted something like a five ton or something like that, you might need to still put a soft start on it. But these inverters are now much more capable of handling typical whole home loads. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about, number one, this parallel operation. This is something that's very interesting with Solus in that you can stack these inverters and really keep that classic, uh, let's say, partial home solution. 
you know, but should you want to bring in a generator and maybe do some uh, interesting kinds of uh, 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 management of the home, uh, we have a new uh, product uh, that's kind of a, a, a microgrid interconnection device that's, uh, that can be connected on the line side and you can do whole home type solutions. So Solus has got, uh, got a lot of versatility when it comes to this product. You've got uh, you know, the standard uh, independent MPPTs that Solus is so famous for, that wide operating range. Uh, but, but we've really increased the capability of these to handle up to 16 amps. And so you really can put those big modules on there. You can use whatever rapid shutdown solution you like. Uh, you really have a new app-based kind of commissioning capability as well as uh, 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 monitoring and control capability uh, via Bluetooth and then, of course, via Solus Cloud remotely. Uh, it's really a it's really kind of fun actually with the kinds of controls and capabilities you now have with these inverters and with these uh, reliable battery sets that can just really give you uh, a lot of power uh, through not such huge wires too. At high voltage, there's a big advantage of, you know, you don't have to use as big a wires. As Pat said, you just have positive and negative and then a CAN bus or RS-485 connection to our inverter. You just set the, the you know, you just tell the inverter what uh, battery we're using and you are fairly uh, there as far as commissioning goes. Uh, that's always something that I worry about with our installers who have become so used to uh, these uh, easy commissioning with grid tie. It's a little bit more uh, uh, involved when you bring a battery in, but not with Solus and Pylon Tech. You can really commission these systems in less than 15 minutes. You can uh, easily, with our, in, with our integrated rapid shutdown devices, you can choose just basic compliance or even optimization using new uh, intelligent uh, receivers and transmitters, as well as Tygo when, with their old CCA per, uh, capabilities. When you look at our, when you're looking to get our inverters from our partners like PowerStore, uh, these are these are kind of how you would identify them. You know, the S6 indicates our sixth generation. Uh, these extra high, uh, 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 I'm sorry, energy storage hybrid. That's what the EH is for, and uh, the H on the end there stands for a high voltage solution, 120 to 520. So of course that takes in every solution that Pat showed on his chart that started at 130. So you can do whatever size pylon tech uh, system you want to use, we're capable of, of utilizing that voltage. So um, lots of different modes you can use, including off-grid, which you'd only use when you're off-grid, right? So you would set your self-consumption or feed-in priority or whatever you'd like to do, time of use, and then you can set your backup mode, how you'd like your battery to charge and discharge. Easy peasy when it comes to soulless communications. You can get these also from PowerStore where you just order a Wi-Fi stick or if you're not sure if it's gonna be okay with Wi-Fi, you can order the combination Wi-Fi and hardwire, Wi-Fi LAN type stick. And should you wanna go cellular, essentially what those sticks down there are cellular phones with five and 10 year plans. And so uh, it's really easy to go cellular or Wi-Fi with Solus with a touch say plug and play kind of solution that self fit configures. And so with the verse versatility of these being able to handle just a single inverter or even up to 10, uh, you've got uh, a real easy low cost way to get connected to our Solus cloud. Um, so, you know, I didn't, I, I don't want to get too involved with all the, the uh, uh, all of the products. And I just wanted to make sure that everybody got a good overview of what we're doing with our hybrid. And, uh, uh, you know, I'm really uh, looking forward to kind of this Q&A afterwards as we, uh, as we, uh, uh, continue the presentation. Hey, uh, uh, Kevin, do you want to continue here? Absolutely. Let me just get situated real quick. Looks like it's not letting me share the screen. Hmm. How about now? Did I stop sharing properly? Oh, I got it. Thank you. That's what I need. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> User error on my side there, friend. <laughs> Don't worry about it. All right. So is everybody seeing my slideshow? Yeah, we can see it. Right. Great. Okay. So thank you so much, Terrence, for the introduction. My name is Kevin Pitts, sales manager here at the Power Store. We are your trusted partner for solar and storage solutions. So 
First off, we offer wholesale wholesale distribution solutions for residential and commercial, whether it's grid type, hybrid, off grid, or even the RV and telecom spaces. We're headquartered in Dallas, Texas, with the East Coast office located in Mooresville, North Carolina. We have 13 years of specialized experience with solar and storage, and we have a MAPSEP trained certified sales team with tons of experience working with clients and manufacturers to find the best solution in each different scenario that we come across. Uh, we stock superior products sourced from the leading manufacturers. We are proud to only sell the top tier items with support and warranty backing, if needed. Lastly, our team can assist with planning, design, sales, and post-sales tech support. There's an answer that we don't know. We will find it for you and then let you know. Um, we'll be definitely be transparent about anything we don't know. Here's a few pictures of our team. Uh, Texas team is at the top, and our North Carolina team is there at the bottom. Not sure if I want to give you a moment to bask in this picture. And here's our testimonials page. A uh, main pillar of our success is our relationship with our clients. Nothing is better than hearing about a successful install or a happy client. It definitely pushes us to do better every day. Ah, the slide is on our goals. Our vision is to empower businesses with reliable solar solutions while also providing new, innovative solutions to promote a greener planet. Our mission, work hard to be the leading distributor. We work hard to lead the distribution market with our high quality products and high quality customer service. Our values are simple. Um, and sustainability is to promote the adoption of solar en energy and combat climate change one step at a time on our way to a cleaner world for future generations. Integrity, definitely our most important value. We always conduct business with honesty and transparency. We want to create, create relationships that rely on the baseline of trust. There's really no other way to do it. Innovation. We try our best to stay to work closely with our vendors and do our best to stay at the forefront of any technology improvement. Speaking on this, Solace and Pylon Tech do such a great job at this, a major re reason why we are partnered with both of them. We just want to make sure we are always providing the best solution possible. And lastly, continuous learning. The learning, the learning really never ends in any industry, and I think this applies to the solar industry even more, probably a lot more. With every change in code, with every new product, and we always try to hold webinars, and we try to assist with learning any way we can, in person or even over the internet. We will try to assist with that learning curve. Here's our current line chart. We always try to carry the top tier products. We carry both all panels, racking, inverters, batteries, and balance of system components. And I have to mention, of course, we have our pylon tech container arriving around late August to early September. Uh, we are really excited to be partnered with pylon tech. Uh, they're the number one lead, global leader in BSS, BESS technology, and we are very proud to be their first US partner. We should also have the Solus S6 inverters in at that point. We have been partnered with Solus for several years now, maybe going on five, I think five or six, but I think it's been beneficial for both for both uh, both businesses. Couldn't have asked for more, and they are such good leaders. And before I finish up, um, I will be at the Pylon Tech booth with QQ on Wednesday, the 26th. So if any of y'all are in that area, please don't hesitate to come by and, uh, and speak to us. Thank you to everybody for joining. We are excited to be your future solar partner. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pass this back to QQ for our Q&A segment. Thank you guys again. Thanks, Kevin. Maybe, yeah, you can, okay, here. You can close your screen share or uh, you, you can leave it here, it's okay. Thanks, uh, Pat, Terrence, Kevin. Thanks for the uh, detailed explanation of the company and the products. Mm -hmm. Now let's see, there's a lot of questions here. Uh, I'm gonna answer the first question. Trevor is asking, do you have uh, uh, UR9540 certificated with all 
compatible emergers. So right now we already got a UL9540 certificate with Solis emerger and uh, Schneider emerger. And uh, with Solark, we are on a process to get uh, the UL9540 certificate. But for battery itself, we all got a 9540A certificate already. And the next question uh, is asking, uh, combiner box, is uh, this available in the UK yet? Pat, you're, Pat, you're gonna answer this question. Uh, yes, I think the combiner box is like a standard accessory. So actually you can buy it. And I think we have like different versions for the bank combiner box. For example, for the UL market, we have like a UL version combined box. And for the UK, maybe you can have the C or IEC version combined box. It's just a contact to our sales team and they can, they can give you more information for that. I think it's available in UK. Okay, good. And the next question, can you install these batteries in, in Antarctic, Antarctica that has been climate adjust, adjusted using foam? Pat, yeah, you yeah. Can. Yes, our batteries can be uh, installed in Arctic. Uh, it's, it's okay because for uh, for the early years uh, when we install the batteries, especially in UK, so most customers they just in install the emergers and the batteries on uh, in the Arctic. It's okay. Okay, and uh, I think this also apply um, because we have special containers or special form for. Colder area is also applied to Canadian market because in winter Canada is so cold. Yes. Yeah. And uh, next question is, uh, what do you contribute your high uh, reliability to? So, firstly, why we can say that, and also we get uh, the good re testing results with the high reliability. That's because we have everything in house. We are one of a few companies that has uh, the real vertical manufacturing. We have our own cells, even the cell material also from our own shareholder manufacturers. And uh, we have our own BMS. We know what we put in the shell. For, uh, we know how to form the positive and the negative uh, film together to make the cells. And uh, all those, uh, each cells from the same production line, the quality control is exactly the same. So this gave us uh, confidence, gave us a uh, uh, uh procedure to make it a uh, really high reliability and uh, of course a uh, higher reliability is a uh, really important for energy storage uh because we don't even it has 10 years warranty even we have solar insure to cover the 20 years warranty but we still need a higher re uh, res uh, reliability because we don't want to shut down the system to do the maintenance right it's uh, all about uh, the cost it's all affected the irr for investors And uh, next question is, oh, it's going somewhere. Can you install? Okay. Yes. Can you install them outside? David is asking, can you install them outside? Maybe Pat, you can answer. You mean for the four, for the four such one, it's IP55. So of course you can install it outside, but we also suggest that uh, like we mentioned in the presentation, we suggest the batteries, uh, you know, can avoid the direct, uh, you know, avoid the direct sunshine or the rain or the snow. So in that case, we can like you, you or the customers or installers, all of us want to like do the batteries for longer life, right? You can install it uh, outside, but better have a shield or, or cover, you know, on the, on above the batteries. Okay. And, and, uh, and QQ, the same would be true for the inverter. You know, the inverter could also be installed outdoors and it could be, but we would also like, you know, a cover so it's not, uh, it doesn't collect snow or doesn't have direct sunshine. So the same comments that Pat made apply to our inverters were a NEMA 4X or IP66 enclosure as well. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Next question. Is there a pylon tech app? to communicate a firmware, a firmware update for serious batteries? Pat? Yes, yes, yes. For 4SH1, sorry, I, I forget to mention for, for the, this part. For 4SH1, we have, we, you can see there is a Wi-Fi doggo on the BMS controller. So you can 
directory con uh, configure your local Wi-Fi for the BMS controller, so you can like remotely monitor the battery status. And to do some plus, we can also do some. If you if you want, we can also do some after zero service, like check what the issue remotely or upgrade the batteries remotely. Uh, but sometimes some customers they don't want this function to be used. Because you know the batteries communicate with the inverter, so they actually they can check the batteries information from inverter side. So they they don't need to check the batteries information directly. But it depends. If you need, we can like uh, release this function for you. That's okay. exactly right. Thank you, Pat. Because uh, you can you know get a full information about the Pylon Tech inverter and its performance and its history and everything through the inverter. But conveniently, uh, you know, you can tie in directly with the Pylon Tech inverter, and that way, you know, should you, uh, you know, uh, want to have that extra sophistication, it's available. Yes. Yeah. Sure. Oh, I see. A grant is. Uh... Uh, wants to hands up, wants to ask questions. How can I uh, let Grant to ask questions? Uh, <laughs> Rachel, do you know? Grant, do you want to talk or? Can you open his mic? I I can't. Hmm. Yeah, he needs to type. Maybe, maybe okay. type. Friends, in the window. Maybe you can type. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so next question for BSS or commercial storage, do you have a plan for building in America or qualify for federal incentives like a American manufacturer? So that's a good question. I believe a lot of people wants to ask me these questions. <laughs> so right now uh, this year we already do a manufacturing base in Italy for America. We just came since last year. So we still have a very small market portion here. Um, we uh, we are building the, right now we are in the process to register in the company here. We're gonna have local team to try our best to increase our selling volumes. So if we get in, enough demand from the market, of course we can consider to build in the local uh, facility here to support the more incentives from the federal government. But before that, we still have a lot of work to do. We have to uh, we have to get enough uh, demand to fulfill our uh, any plant here, right? We don't want to build a facility here and uh, leave it as empty. And next question: Are your batteries suitable for frequency support for a remote island? What's uh, the impact on the battery degradation? Uh, Pat, you want to answer this question? Yeah, I think this is more about the big scale project that like frequency support. Yeah, we can do that, but it's according to the specific project. Maybe you can like contact us via our email to send some to send us some background for this kind of uh, application, so we can like provide you a technical proposal like how we can achieve that. Yes, uh, we can do that. Okay, thank you. And the, sorry, and the degradation actually is based on uh, the environment, like temperature and how many cycles you're going to use per day. So it it's, depends on the specific project. So I think we can talk about that uh, with full, uh, with detailed information. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the next question, do you public publish your URL 9548 testing? Uh, normally we don't public this. Uh, we only can send to some clients that they request. Next question. How do we get a supplier for Costa Rica in Central America for solid six and a pylon deck high voltage? Uh, for Costa Rica, I think uh, we are working with the distributors who is covering the uh, LATAM market. You can send me uh you can you can send me email to ask that. I think, uh, yeah, Costa Rica, yes. And uh, Terence, do you know for Costa Rica your your site? Oh yeah. So you would contact Sergio in our Mexico City, uh, well not Mexico City, but our Mexico office. And so he handles the Costa Rica market, and uh, we do indeed uh, supply. Uh, 
IEC uh, and, uh, uh, product down in throughout LATAM and South America. So yeah, this can have the same solution here can happen both on grid and off grid in Costa Rica. Okay, thank you. Uh, so dear is asking what app is that recommended? I don't understand uh, your question. Like uh, it's for battery uh, or inverter or for the inverter or because uh, Solus has an app. We have an app for the, uh, that's how you would get the battery information, for example. Uh, if you wanted to get uh, battery information directly from the uh, Pylon Tech uh, uh, communication dongle, you would, uh, I think, go to your website, I think, and tie in there. Yes, Is that how yes, it would work, Pat? Right. So there's an, you know, a separate. Uh, uh, let's say uh, 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 graphic user inter uh, 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 interface for you on the Pylon Tech um, uh, uh, monitoring uh, platform. But as far as as far as just handling charge and discharge and stated charge and depth of discharge and timing and everything like that, that's through the Solus app, through the S6 hybrid app, which uh, you'll be able to see. You know your loads, your battery your pv and your backup yeah okay thank you and what pylon tag products will power store being offering kevin can you answer this question absolutely we will be starting with the uh, paleo and the forge eight force h1 batteries and they should be landing hopefully around the august late august early september time frame thank you paleo is a low voltage 48 volts uh force h1 is a high voltage and can the solid split phase hybrid inverter work with 50 hertz? Terence, you want to answer this question? Our UL version that we uh, uh, supply here in the United States and Canada does not. It only works with 60 hertz. And so if you wanted to use a 50 hertz uh, product, you could indeed go back uh, down to our LATAM office, uh, contact Sergio down there, and uh, he can turn you on to our 50 uh, hertz product that we also sell uh, throughout this hemisphere. Okay, thank you. And uh, Carlos is asking if a customer has any issue regarding the battery, what are you, you leading lead times and the RMA time after sales service team attack for the USA. So if any questions uh, right now, uh, I'm the major person you can contact. Um, and uh, I will I will do the internal coordination with our technical team. But after we get the uh, USA entity registered, we will have a local special technical support team. Uh, we will release uh, those uh, those guys uh, contact information. You can talk to our like a new team new team members directly. Uh, yeah. We we requested the lead time is within twenty four hours, uh, uh, working days, not 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 including the weekend or not. And, and we make the same promise, uh, QQ. We, we try to, as the inverter, you know, a lot of times uh, uh, folks will call the inverter company, you know, if they're having any problem with their system. And that might be a battery uh, uh, issue, but uh, uh, we're the first line of defense. And indeed, you heard QQ say that they're developing a, a team here. Well, they've been very proactive already in training our team, the Solus service team, and understanding their product line and that sort of thing. And that's only growing as we grow here into, 20, into 2023 and into 2024. The two teams are working together to provide that tier one service. Yes. That's why I was also work yeah, as we have, uh, so closely yes well, that's right. We have, we, have, <laughs> we have a we have a reputation, you know, to be uh, top quality tier one companies here, global companies, and we're going to fulfill that promise to our, to you uh, everybody here. Yeah, sure. And the next question: Can I use Pylon Tech batteries on an existing CNI project using Fronius inverters? So, Pat. Yes, uh, you know the CNI projects is a uh, it's a little different for uh, with uh, the residential uh, applications. You know, for residential side, we have a compatible list that uh, which inverters and what kind of models we can we can use with our batteries can use with because they need to do the test. Uh, both of our both of us need to do the test, and we uh, through the test and we added the inverter 
in our capacity list. But for the CNI project, normally, you know, our products have a standard communication protocol like uh the Modbus TCP or CAN or CAM communication. So basically, for the EPC or integrator, if they want you, actually they can use any brand or models of the PCS or inverters they want with our batteries. They we can just provide our protocol, and they need just need to like use this protocol to make the inverter work with batteries. Because for the CNN project, it's case by case, not for the resi- not like the residential side. So we we discuss about that uh, for each case. So yes, we can. You can use the pioneer battery to furnish inverters in CNI projects. Okay, thanks, thanks, Pat. What is this? So next question is for Terence. For the solids inverters, if they were to be installed indoors, does solids provide any attachments for the DC cable connection, such as a junction box to bring in Tech ninety eight cables? Yeah, uh, I, I'm sorry, I don't know what you mean by Tech 90 cable, but uh, regarding the uh, S6 inverter, when you open up the wire box cover, you're going to find what we call spring terminals. Very easy. You strip back your wire uh, a couple centimeters, uh, three quarters inch or so, and then you uh, kind of insert your screwdriver. It opens up the door and and uh, you stick your wire in and it clamps down nicely. This sort of spring terminal is uh, what we consider the most reliable type of terminal that you could provide. It doesn't need, you know, torquing a year and a half later or something like that. So uh, inside the wire box, you'll be running as per code here in the United States, uh, you know, uh, conduit runs into the the big knockouts on the on the bottoms and sides and back of this inverter. Really, it's kind of very versatile as to where you can bring the wires in. And then inside the wire box, there'll be the spring terminals for the DC side, uh, eight of them, you know, four positive, four negative for the four MPPTs. And then you'll see the battery terminals, positive and negative, that's fused. And then you'll see the uh, a communication strip where you're going to attach the uh, communication wires from the pylon tech inverter. And let's say the CAN connection between the inverters and maybe uh, external uh, 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 third party uh, platform, monitoring platform, should you choose that. So there's a lot of options there. And then on the far right, you'll see the AC to the grid terminals and the AC to a backup panel terminal. So that's how that all goes. Okay, thanks, uh, Sarah. Sarah. I think he's, uh, the question is, he said the question above is for the commercial solids in waters. Uh, the next, next question. Uh, for the commercial, well, oh. uh, I'll agree to for until it would be. The, oh, oh the, this one, yes. From yes. Osmond Grant, yeah. Um, well, if, if it's for the commercial inverters, it's sort of the same. Uh, it's a little different in that we don't have a, a wire box. We actually have more of a European style uh, a set of uh, exter- external uh, uh, MC4 type connectors. And uh, so you would just literally just bring the, it even so the inverters almost act like the combiner box and you would just bring the, in, uh, bring the uh, PV source circuits right over to these connectors and connect them directly to the bottom of the inverter. Okay, thanks, Terence. And also another question for Solis. Grant said all their grid tight inverters are from Solis. So that's good to hear. Uh, we would love to get a split phase hybrid inverters from you, but we don't see any that work with the 50 hertz. Thanks. Uh, we appreciate that kind of uh, interest. And indeed, we have seen that interest and we've heard that and we're, those products are in development for both our European and our U.S. teams. So we're excited about bringing a new hybrid, a, a larger hybrid to the U.S. as well. So thanks. Uh, look out for that. We, we th- and of course, Biontech is going to be a perfect match for that in, inverter as well. That's good. And the next question for Pat, the 4CH1 BMS has a Wi-Fi uh, antenna. What is that for? Antenna? Uh, you mean, I think he's uh, as she mentioned is for the Wi-Fi toggle. Right. Yeah, yeah that's for the, uh, like we mentioned before, you, you can like check the 
uh, basic information for batteries uh, through inverter. But if you want to check the detailed information for the batteries or you want to monitor it uh, in real time, you can use that Wi-Fi logo to configure your local internet. So you can go to your website, you know, from the web interface, you can check the information, the real information, history for the, for the, for the false H1 batteries. It depends on you. If you want to use it, it's okay. Like we can like send you a SOP for how to configure the Wi-Fi. You just follow the steps and just configure the Wi-Fi. And then, then you can monitor it from the website. And the uh, next question is uh, a pylon tech but uh, Gail is asking pylon tech battery chemistry. Uh, all of our battery are LFP right now. And for a solid set point range to handle a variety of battery chemistry. Um, as Terence, maybe you can ask this well, first. Or thank you. This Thank you, QQ. I'm, I'm, uh, you know, we have to uh, do a 9540 with all of our battery partners, and so we uh, would uh, make sure that whatever battery chemistry uh, they may come up with in the future, uh, what during those testing that would ensure compatibility. However, today we are uh, a, a company that can handle the set points on NMC and LFP type batteries. Thanks, Terence. And uh, maybe Terence, you also can answer this question. Can Pylon take an solid, solid interface directly into energy management systems based on the BACN B backnet protocol? What is it? I don't this know. One? I don't know. I, I don't know. Pat, do you know? I, I don't know what says uh, BACNET protocol. No, I never heard of this, but maybe he, if you, uh, David, if you really. Uh, interested on this question, you can send us email, like give us more uh, detailed information for this kind of protocol so we can give you feedback. Okay. Thanks. Well, that's a great answer, Pat. Uh, we can, I mean, for Solus, we can provide, for example, under NDA, we can provide a Modbus map uh, of our communication data. Uh, and maybe with that and some uh, work with our team, we could. Uh, uh, interface with that. So it's, we like to sometimes call ourselves the Microsoft of uh, inverters in that we can provide, you know, use a variety of different uh, componentry to, to accomplish the task. So let's uh, send the question over to Pat and uh, we'll see what we can do. Yeah, thanks. And uh, Lilith already ordered the S6, need a pricing on the batteries. <laughs> yeah, right. you can contact That's a great the... question. <laughs> Kevin is here for you. <laughs> 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 yeah, and uh, does Pylon Tech and SLS has a com capability to receive charge from vehicle, V2G, V2X? Right, so this is vehicle to grid or vehicle to loads or something in the house. And, and this is uh, a part of this new integration of the vehicle battery into the home when the power goes out or, or even participating in time of use and that sort of thing if you wanted to. Um, indeed, uh, the batteries in the vehicle, of course, are different than the batteries that we're talking about today, but to integrate that kind of thing into your system, we're looking at these uh, Microsoft, inter I'm sorry, microgrid interconnection devices and other uh, componentry that can merge that battery into your load system. And so it's part of the technology that as we go forward uh, to integrate that battery into your home system. It's very exciting uh, R&D that's going on in that area right now. Thank you. And um, uh, Christy is asking, are we supposed to be seeing video window for items Terrence is uh, reference? No, I don't have any videos for us right now, but uh, uh, that's uh, thank you for asking that because we uh, we think both of us actually both uh, Pylon Tech and uh, and Solus feel like short videos like that are very helpful in helping the uh, people understand particular either technical concepts or even uh, kind of buying strategies and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And uh, since we answered all those questions, um, I see Mervin Fernandez, his hands up. Um, 
Fernand, can you type your questions? Because I don't know how to let you speak. Uh, oh, okay, just bring in as... Uh, so, Gail, now you can talk. She has to unmute herself. Gail, can you unmute yourself? Uh, okay. I'd like to say hi to Gail. How are you doing, Gail? Uh, sorry, we can't hear you, but uh, uh, maybe you have to type it in, I suppose. Mm -hmm. We're getting close to the end of our time here, aren't we, QQ? Okay, we yeah. Yeah, sure. So thanks for everyone to join today's webinar, and uh, thanks all those for all those uh, valuable questions for us. Mm -hmm. um, if uh, in the, after this webinar, if you have any uh, the questions, please feel free to contact us. And uh, I'm gonna share the contact information here for everyone can find us. Uh, yes, and, and the whole presentation video is recorded, so you can check it later in our YouTube channel. And uh, seeing we have already sent the link in the chat window, so you can check that link and follow our YouTube channel to check the whole presentation uh, record. Thank you, Jim. Really, uh, you've been such a solid uh, uh, distribution point and stocking dealer for us. It's just been a great relationship through the years and appreciate everything you do down there in Alvarado, Texas. QQ, it's been a real pleasure again working with you again today. I really like the questions that we got. Uh, and Pat, uh, like I say, I learn every time I'm with you. So thanks again for- Thank you, Terrence. Uh, Good to really always you. <laughs> um, every, Kevin, uh, thanks for being with us today. I hope to see you soon. Uh, uh, maybe down there in Vegas, uh, we'll see each other, huh? And, uh, yeah. and you too as well, Jim. So, <laughs> yeah, thank you, Terrence, Pat, and QQ for allowing me to present a little bit on this. But, uh, and thanks to the most to y'all's technical advice here and, and helping us get a greater understanding of what we're about to be selling. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin, Terrence. Thank you, guys. Thanks, thank thanks you. Jim, thank for you, the man. strong support for Pylon Tech. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Bye, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Hey, see you guys. Have a good day.